I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 14 page 146 for my subscribers. The question is, the six segment of the window frame shown in the diagram are to be constructed from a piece of window framing material 6 meter in length. A carpenter wants to build a frame for a rural gothic style window where triangle ABC is equilateral triangle. So that means uh, let me label this as ABC, right? So that is a triangle which is equilateral, all equal sides. The window must fit inside a space that is 1 meter wide and 3 meter high. Determine the dimensions that should be used for 6 pieces so that the maximum amount of light will be admitted. So it is to be framed in, in, a, in some, some place whose dimensions are fixed and these dimensions are 1 meter wide and 3 meter high. So these are these are the dimensions in which it has to fit in, right? Now looking into this diagram what we can say is we are given 6 segments, we, we are given 6 meter length of the framing material so the perimeter has to be 6. Now since these sides are equal, let us say these sides are, let us say x. So let me write down x for these sides. In a rectangle, that will also be x, right? But these sides, opposite sides could be different. So I'm writing y over there. So that means I have got 6 segments. 4 of them are of x meters and 2 are y meter long. So total perimeter is 6 meters. So I can write this as 4x plus 2y equals to 6. So that is one statement which I can get, right? So from here we can solve for y. So we say y, let's say 2y equals to 6 minus 4x or y equals to 6 minus 4x divided by 2. That is 3 minus 2x. So we know y is 3 minus 2x. So we get one expression for y in terms of x. We need to maximize the intensity of light. That means the area, right? If area is maximized, then the intensity will also be maximized. Now, what is the area? Area of a triangle, this is an equilateral triangle. Remember, this is an equilateral triangle, equal side, 60 degrees. In a 60 degree triangle, the ratio of uh, this is square root 3 times 3 square root 3 over 2, right? So that is how the ratio is for for the sides, correct? So what is the height? Or you can find the height. This is half of x, correct? So we can find height and then we can find area of the triangle, correct? So area of this triangle is half of base, which is x, times height, which is h, plus area of this rectangle which is x times y. Now what is height equals to? We can use trigonometry to find height. So h is equals to, you can say h is equals to x sine 60, right? It is equals to x sine of 60 degrees, right? Which is equals to square root 3 over 2 sine of 60 square root 3 over 2. You can use special triangles, 30, 60, 90, in which the sides are 1, 2, and square root 2, right? Square root 3, so you get this. So let's substitute this value. So from here, what do we get? We get the value of height as, we'll write this as half, x times square root 3 over 2x plus x times y is 3 minus 2x. 3 minus 2x. So now we have everything in terms of x and we can say area as a function of x is equals to multiply these terms. We have square root 3 over 4 x square plus you can open this 3x minus 2x square and derivative of this function is equals to 2 times square root 3 over 4 x plus 3 minus 4x, correct? So that is the derivative. To maximize, derivative should be 0. So we say 0 equals to uh, 
uh, we can now substitute and find the value. So we have this is square root 3 over 2x minus 4x plus 3, right? Now we can solve for this. Let's use calculator or we will do like this. We'll do 4x minus square root 3 over 2x. We could take x common, of course, equals to 3. Or from here, we have this implies x is equals to 3 divided by 3 divided by 4 minus square root 3 over 2. Is it okay? So that is the value of x which we are looking for. So let's find this value, right? So we have to divide 3 divided by within brackets 4 minus square root 3 bracket close divide by 2 right so divide by 2 bracket close equals to 0 0.957 so what we get here is okay let me write in different ink 0 0.96 I'm rounding it to 6 okay so we get x as equals to 0 0.96 well, x 0 0.96 does fit into 1, so that seems to be perfectly fine. So if x is 0 0.96, y will be equals to 3 minus 2 times 0 0.96. So let us see how much is that. So we'll do 3 minus 2 times 0.96 equals to 1.08. So y will be equals to 1.08. And these are all in meters, right? So, so, so we get the dimensions as 1.08 meters for y, and 0 0.96 meters for x, for the maximum area, right? So that is how we could solve this question. Now, as you can see here, the limits for x are from one and 0 to 1, right? So you could put x as 0 to 1. If I substitute 1 here, I will get definitely a different answer, which is which will not be maximum, right? So you can just substitute 1 and 0 and find the value of area for x equals to x is this side, right? So x could be, you could have boundary condition, x should be between 0 and 1. So as a test, I would like you to find the value of area from this given formula for area equals to when x is 0 and when x is equals to 1. So like to calculate this and check with the area when you substitute x as 0.96. So also substitute uh, 1 uh, x as equals to 0 0.96 to find the area. And then you compare the values. Let it be open now. So find these three values using the formula AX, this one, right? So that is the formula for area. Substitute these three values one by one. See which one gives you maximum. And that is your answer, okay? That is your answer. So that is how you should be finding the answer for this. You need to compare these values to really get the answer. I hope that helps. Thank you.